Hey what's up guys, I'm Chicks and you're watching Chicks Tech Reviews. So we've seen smaller laptops in the past with Ultrabooks and Netbooks. But today I've got my hands on the world's smallest Windows 10 laptop, which has some impressive specs and a superb build quality. So this is the GPD Pocket, a Windows 10 mini laptop. This product is a good balance between an Ultrabook and a Netbook. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So this has a 7 inch full HD touchscreen display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a pixel density of 300. So you have the Intel Atom X7 Z8750 quad core CPU running at 1.6 GHz. You have the Intel HD 405 graphics, 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM. You have the ultra fast 128 gigs Samsung eMMC storage dual band Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth version 4.1, a licensed copy of Windows 10, a massive 7000 milliamp battery, which will give you around 12 hour battery life for general use. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a user manual and a screen protector, a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable and a USB Type-C power brick. And here is the GPD pocket. Oh my God. This is amazing. Wow. Seriously. You've got a complete metal body here. Um, all of it. Everything is metal. Apart from this part here, which feels like plastic, but that could be the Wi-Fi antenna. Yeah, this feels really nice in the hands. This design and the feel of this product reminds me of the MacBook Pro. So what I'm going to do now is bring in the MacBook Pro just to compare it because quality is incredibly similar. Right, so we've got a MacBook Pro here. The top of the MacBook, as you can see, is like a rounded metal. This GPD is giving the same type of effect. A very similar finish to the MacBook. If we turn both devices over, the hinges, the feet, very similar indeed. The design does look and feel very similar to my MacBook Pro. It appears that GPD has tried to replicate a mini MacBook Pro. I wasn't expecting to compare this to my MacBook, so I'm quite surprised as well. In thickness compared to the MacBook, the GPD is actually a millimeter or two thicker than the MacBook. As soon as I felt this device in my hand, I felt that I've got something different here in my hands. The quality is amazing. Um, it does feel like a mini MacBook Pro. So let's quickly go through the ports. So you have a little groove here to help you open the device. On the right side you have a ventilation fan, a USB Type-C port for charging and ultra-fast data transfer. You've got a mini HDMI port, a 3.5mm headphone jack and a full-size USB 3 port. On the back you just have a hinge and I suspect that's a Wi-Fi antenna inside there. Nothing on the other side and of course nothing at the front. And this is what the bottom of the device looks like. So let's finally get this open. So the keyboard does feel quite good. You've got a full QWERTY keyboard. You've got some multimedia controls at the top, power button, um, the Windows button. So you've got basically everything you need, including a small mouse button. You have a seven inch full HD five point touchscreen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a pixel density of 300. The screen is, is beautiful and you'll see that working in a bit. This folds back nearly flat. So that's pretty incredible. You can tell that a great level of thought has gone into designing this product. So before switching this on, I like to compare this to the last GPD product I reviewed, the GPD Win. This is a 5.5 inch 720p screen and this is a 7 inch 1080p screen. Both of these products have the same CPU and graphics card. However, this device has 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, which is double than what you're getting on the GPD Win. So all the games you've seen working on the GPD Win will work on the GPD Pocket. You have more RAM, faster storage and a full HD screen so you can expect a better gaming performance from this laptop and we will be testing that later. So they are both very good quality products but I thought the GPD Win was a high quality product with a black aluminium finish at the top and plastic at the bottom. Um, GPD have really outdone themselves with the build quality of this product. Uh, this is probably one of the best build qualities I've seen since buying my MacBook Pro. So I'm very excited to switch this on and check out its performance. So we've got the device powered on. So as you can see, we're on the desktop. First thing I'd like to do is test out the mouse. The mouse is actually very sensitive. If I just open a web page, you can see the cursor better. 
Very similar to the IBM mouse buttons you get. If you put less pressure, it will move slowly. And if you put more pressure, it will move really fast. So you are in control um, and I like it, it's very good. But not only can you use it like this on the desktop, but when you're holding this with two hands, you can still use the mouse pad with great precision and it works great. The touchscreen is very responsive, no issues whatsoever. Pinch to zoom works great, you can zoom in very easily. Yeah, so you've got a great touchscreen on here. So I just plugged in my 500 GB hard drive um, just to see if it would power and work. And yes, it works great. And here it is. And you can see it there. So it doesn't need any additional power. You can use portable hard drive. I tried a 2TB hard drive and that also works great. I've installed a few things like Microsoft Office. So let's get Microsoft Word open and test out the keyboard. So this is Microsoft Word 2007. Um, it's one of my favorite versions, really easy and quick to install. And it opened up very quickly. So I haven't had any practice on this and I'm just going to go ahead and type something up. So I just typed a sentence or two. The only issue I find is pressing spacebar. I sometimes miss it. And that is kind of the biggest button on this whole device. But somehow I'm managing to miss the spacebar button and the delete button is very close to the standby button. So I am worried I'm going to end up pressing the power button instead of the delete button. The keyboard is very good. I like the response you're getting on it. I think it would take me around one hour to get used to it. So once you get used to the layout, you can go ahead and, and type full speed. Yeah, I'm impressed with the keyboard. The keyboard is definitely good. What I want to show you guys is USB-C adapters. So you can plug this directly into the USB-C port. I don't want to block the vents, so I'm going to plug it in the other way. So let's try that out. That's it. So now this device will give me a mini USB-C port for charging um, and data transfer, two USB 3 ports, a full size SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. And here is another USB-C hub I got. And this one has four USB 3 ports, a USB-C port, but also a HDMI port. So we're going to test out the HDMI port. So as you can see, the HDMI connection has worked great. I actually bought these devices for my MacBook, but you can use it on other Ultrabooks, including Windows ones like this one. So let's test out some multimedia on this. I'm going to begin with Netflix. So I've logged into Netflix, and as you can see, it's all loaded up great. I'm going to go ahead and play something now. Let's go and try out some YouTube. This device is capable of streaming up to 4K YouTube videos. So that was streaming videos, let's move on to some gaming. So you can see this is running a 64-bit Windows 10 Home and the product is already activated. So I've just connected to my PlayStation 4 via Remote Play. If I maximize the screen, so I've got full access to my PS4. I'm using my PS4 controller. Oh, here you are. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Does anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the doors. Just... So as you can see, the GPD Pocket has achieved a total benchmark score of 108,121, which I think is an incredible score. So there you have it guys, that was the world's smallest Windows 10 laptop, the GPD Pocket. This is a $500 device with a super premium build quality.
It is designed very similar to my MacBook Pro. It actually feels and looks like a mini MacBook Pro. So GPD has done a great job in the build quality and overall design of this product. I have already taken this device with me to Starbucks a few times and quite a few people thought it looked like a mini MacBook Pro and asked me where I got it from. So heads will definitely turn when you're using this device. Also, I really like how portable this device is. It will easily fit in your pocket, bag, jacket pocket, etc. Sometimes when I'm out and about, I don't always need my full-size MacBook. This device I find perfect for those occasions. I can copy over some files, get some work done from anywhere. You get 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of ultra-fast Samsung EMC storage. A very high quality full HD touchscreen display and internally you have a great design to keep the system running cool with a copper pipe heatsink combined with a mini fan to keep the temps maintained below 35 degrees Celsius. You have a USB type C interface which will let you charge and power with transfer speeds up to 500 megabytes per second. If you're looking to buy a netbook or an ultrabook, why pay between $200 to $300 for a small netbook which will have no power to get any real tasks done? However, this GPD Pocket Mini Laptop will not limit you in your tasks. You can do everything on this device. It is a perfect balance between an ultrabook and a netbook. I was able to play GTA 4 on low settings and it played great, so this can handle most PC games on low settings. I absolutely loved game streaming on this. Playing my PS4 on remote play looked and played superb on that beautiful screen. So game streaming is a great option so you don't have to install any big games on your hard drive. You can just stream the latest games from your console or PC and it's a very enjoyable experience. Also streaming multimedia from Netflix and YouTube was great and I was actually able to stream 4K videos. You can attach USB-C hubs to expand your ports giving you a HDMI and more. I will link those hubs in the description in case you want to check them out. Bottom line, this is a great mini laptop by GPD. I believe the price is right for what you're getting. Exceptional build quality, great performance, play games and 4K movies and having a full version of Windows 10 means you can basically do anything on it. With that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out and if you like it you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.